Your gut is your second brain, or actually it's your first brain. And the reason I believe it's your first brain, more than this guy up top, is because that it produces over 90% of your serotonin, which is the neurotransmitter that makes you feel good and present and excited about life, right? So it really affects how we feel. It affects every facet of our neurotransmitters, how those neurochemicals are created. And it's because we have thousands of these bacteria which interact and either create symbiosis or dysbiosis. Not to mention that there's 40 trillion of them within our digestive tract. Bacteria, fungi, viral. These are all things that impact every facet of our health. And so in this video, we're gonna crack the code on our gut health with seven key habits, seven holistic habits that can help you solidify a healthy routine, feel really good inside and out by starting with the gut. Because as Hippocrates said over 2,000 years ago, all disease starts in the gut. And we're gonna move away from all the dis-ease and move into harmony. So let's jump in. What up all you crazy wellness whippersnappers in cyberspace? My name is Christian Van Camp, a holistic lifestyle and performance coach. I just love geeking out on all things natural healing and vitality, connecting with nature. That's why I'm always taking my videos outside of nature. I got this beautiful landscape ahead of me that just allows my eyes to open up and I just, I love making these videos. So explore more of my page and all things natural healing, fitness, uh, you got nutrition, you got all things that will help you optimize your essence inside and out. Now in this video, we're gonna dive into some good stuff. Let's get into the juicy work. The first things first, we're gonna start off with diet to improve your gut health. Elimination diet, go on in an elimination diet. Remove the foods that are troubling your digestive system. That's the number one thing. Then integrate the good stuff. So what are those foods? Well, very low glycemic foods, foods that are not gonna have the gut irritants in them. You know, a lot of common culprits that you can remove completely are breads, a lot of the, the white foods, you know, related to flours. Uh, you can think of the four white devils here. White flour, white salt or stripped away sodium that doesn't have all the minerals in it like sea salt. Uh, we got white sugar and then pasteurized dairy. Okay, so pasteurized dairy. This is one of those things that's stripping away the raw nature of it, which has all those enzymes and probiotics. So those four white devils, just eliminate those from your dietary arsenal and also remove other common culprits beyond those. You know, this includes foods like nuts and seeds. A lot of those are gut irritants for the overall digestive system. They take a lot of hardiness to break down. You can also look into things similar to that like beans, you know, even though they're really healthy and nutritious, if we aren't cooking them down fully with a pressure cooker or soaking and sprouting them, they're gonna cause gut irritation. This also includes things like vegetable oils. Pretty much any of the processed foods that you don't know and can't pronounce as one ingredient, start removing those as well. So an elimination diet is like a modified carnivore diet. This is including the basis of your diet with healthy, non-inflammatory animal-based foods, and then throwing in a little bit of the plant foods that can really spark up the biodiversity of your gut. Red meat is a staple for this, right? Some quality organic grass-fed red meat. You can have some pasteurized eggs, some sockeye salmon, some sardines as the base, right? There's no gut irritation typically coming from those foods. And then some of the healthy fats coming with that, extra virgin olive oil, olives. Uh, you can have some avocado, some coconut oil, some butter, grass-fed butter. So all these foods right there are a good baseline, you know, of like the, the food pyramid, that could be the base. And then you can integrate some botanicals and things that are less gut irritation related. And this could be things like some herbs, some simple digesting herbs like basil or cilantro. And then some fully cooked foods that could be like sweet potato, fully cooked on the sweet potato. This could be baking it fully or, you know, some regular potatoes as well. Some white rice, introduce some foods like that, some raw honey, and then some light, easy digesting fruit like blueberries. That's a great elimination diet to follow for some time and then reintroduce the foods that may be troubling foods, maybe troubling foods later on and tap into that intuition and listen in on whether or not they're actually causing havoc into your gut. Next on the list is food combining. So based on what we just shared on the things with modified carnivore, think about how you can integrate more of this approach with food combinations. This is something in ancient Ayurveda, a beautiful health system from over 4,000 years ago in India. They're huge on food combinations. Basically doing your best to limit combining fruits with any proteins or any other foods. So fruit's like its own little category. You can have like a midday snack with a fruit bowl. Do your best not to have it with other foods to start on this type of uh, cleansing of the gut. Occasionally you could throw in blueberries with a steak or something like that, it's totally fine. Um, but be very conscious of how you feel with the digestion. Do you feel bloated afterwards? listen in on that and also listen in on how do you feel when you have potatoes paired with these proteins like animal proteins how do you feel with these starches with proteins proteins with fruit like just listen in on that because 
Food combining is a real thing because all these different foods digest at different rates and they require different enzymes. So for bombarding our gut with all these different ingredients, our gut's like, what the hell are we doing here? You know, how do we work with this? Number three is hydration first thing in the morning with some good quality salts or electrolytes, apple cider vinegar, some lemon. Uh, that is a great way to just kickstart your digestive system every single day. It's an elixir, I like to say, an energy elixir. So this could be a little splash of apple cider vinegar, uh, juice up some overall lemon. Uh, that really gets the digestive properties going. That acidic nature stimulates the gastric juices of the gut, which can help out with overall energy and metabolism for the day. And just prepping the gut for the hardiness of food later on. And then the salt is so critical. These minerals are foundational for your overall uh, hydration and the gut lining itself. So getting some quality minerals in, I'm a huge fan of Redmond Realite. It's chock load of a bunch of good quality minerals, that full spectrum micro and macro minerals that can help you out. Another key component of this is stop snacking throughout the day. Give your digestive system a break by really focusing on having like three, maybe two whole big meals, 40 to 50 grams of protein. Just focus on those compound meals and do your best not to snack and really give your stomach all these little titrations throughout the day because it's really confusing for digestion. So really focus on those big quality meals, two to three meals a day. Limit snacking as best you can. You can throw in a little snacks, but give it some space between those other ones. So I like to divide my meals up in a way where it's like, I'll have my first meal around 10 to 11 a.m., eat another big meal three to four hours later after digestion, and I did my, did my stuff for that first meal, and then after that, do another three to four hours later. Maybe throw in a little snack with dates or something like that, but that's a good routine to follow. Number five is walking after meals, not being lazy on your arse right after you eat your meal. Really take advantage of walking, getting your mobility going, getting the metabolism moving, because if we're stagnant after meals, it's really hard for our overall insulin, it's hard for our liver, it's hard for all of our organs, organs taking in that energy. And if we aren't lightly walking on a brisk walk after meals, we're not gonna boost our digestive fire. It's gonna cause issues with it over time and it will cause us to store more fat because insulin rises and we aren't using that as energy. We aren't using the blood sugar spike as energy. Six is a holistic thing. Keep stress low, monitor your stress levels. Your gut takes a big hit on stress, right? Notice when you get stressed, you crave more foods. You have bloating perhaps, right? When women are on their cycle, they usually get bloated more. Their gut is affected by that stress in their body. And it's so true for every human. So really do your best to regulate your stress, breathe consciously throughout the day, four seconds in, six seconds out, get some movement throughout the day, get some sunshine, ground barefoot. That's what I'm doing right now in the, the beautiful soil take advantage of working through stress levels. It's gonna help out immensely with your overall gut, gut health and digestion. Last on the list is the top of the totem pole because it's not as important as the groundwork of these holistic habits. And this is supplementation. Supplements can really help out though, I have to say. Even though they're the last thing, focus on all the macro things and introduce supplements if you really feel called to invest in yourself for these things. I'll give you guys five that I really enjoy and I take nearly every day that have helped me tremendously. Number one is digestive enzymes. Full spectrum digestive enzymes help a ton with breaking down protein, fats, and carbs more efficiently. I take bioptimizers ones every single meal, just about two to five, depending on the meal, especially if I'm getting big protein rich meals over 50 grams. It helps assimilate. I just feel lighter after it. It's really, really nice. You can even take them faster in the morning and they are used as proteolytic enzymes um, to be able to process some unwanted proteins within the gut. So I love digestive enzymes. That's a huge one on my plate, no pun intended. Then we have probiotics. Of course, the world of probiotics is so vast and diverse. It's confusing because there's so much marketing hype with all these companies. However, I personally I personally have taken one for over four months now and I can surely vouch for it. And it's by the company Just Thrive. This specific strain mix-up of probiotics has been tested in many studies and it has been shown to help many people out when it comes to digestive fire and repopulating the gut with healthy probiotic uh, and bacteria. So I'm a big fan of the one they have, the probiotic, the main one they have on their website. I'm a huge fan of it. I take it every single day, one, one capsule. Sometimes I'll take two with my biggest meal and I do feel a difference when it comes to overall just feeling more like lighter you know, having that good energy coming from it. Next, I would say anything with immunoglobulins. This could be colostrum or IgG, which is really helpful. Just Drive has one, IgG. Um, that's a really good one right there because it helps rebuild the gut wall, which is something we all have leaky gut. It seems like on <laughs> every human nowadays, I certainly did in the past from bombarding it with garbage food uh, and stress. But IgG and immunoglobulins are really helpful overall for rebuilding that gut wall. This also is uh, really high in a lot of other supplements like uh, biome breakthrough from bioptimizers. I love that every single morning in that elixir with the lemon, the apple cider vinegar, the salt, I'll add that in there fasted. So it just helps rebuild that gut wall. 
Um, a lot of good juicy stuff in there to support your digestive health. Two more I'll add is uh, Shilajit, which is an ancient resin from the Himalayan mountains. It's a thick tar that they extract and it's loaded up in a ton of minerals, fulvic and humic acids, which is especially good for the gut and detoxing the gut. Um, so I'm a big fan of this resin every morning with that elixir on the side. I'll take a glob of this stuff and uh, really just down it. It's like this interesting, very uh, bitter taste, but it's you just know from that flavor, it's so nutrient dense and helping you out, getting a spectrum of minerals as well. So huge fan of Shilajit. There's actually a lot of studies on it, balancing hormones, increasing energy, supporting testosterone as well. And then last on the list is a high dose amount of magnesium every day. Uh, magnesium is really good for calming down stress, which can help out your gut, calming down the smooth muscle of the gut. So if you're having constipation, this will help move things around. Uh, I'm a big fan of magnesium, been taking it for years. I take a full spectrum one that has all seven forms and vitamin B6 for enhancing absorption. So you can get that one by Bioptimizers. It's the same company with Biome Breakthrough and that scoop I take with the elixir. So that's the compound of everything with your gut. Go with your gut, guys. Just take advantage of your gut health. The more you put your energy and really master your gut, the more energy you're gonna have, the higher metabolism, the sexier physique. The, the more connected to nature and yourself you'll have. You'll just enjoy your vac vacations more and your everyday life waking up into this beautiful world. We're not gonna be here forever, right? We have a finite body. Take care of it by taking care of your gut. Please like and subscribe to stay in touch with further videos coming out on all things natural healing, vitality, fitness, nutrition, etc. And I will see you guys on the other side.